if ontical truth getting the entities right is to be distinctive is to be a distinctive possibility and aim of ontical comportments then there must be a difference between those comportments that are true in this sense and those that are not a difference that depends on the entities themselves and not that the the comportments undertake to be on one side of <clears throat> on one side of the effect is that comportments must be in a distinctive way beholden to the entities toward which they are comportments toward which they are comportments thus apart from all other questions of success or failure in a comportment there is this distinctive question of success or failure has the comportment got the entity right this will all seem less cryptic if we revert for a moment to more familiar territory suppose the comportment in question is a description of the state of some physical particle such a comportment description might succeed or fail in any number of ways in impressing the gra the graduate students in securing a grant and adhering to the grammar of English or whatever but there is a distinctive kind of success that descriptions as such must aim at one that depends on the described entity itself in our example it depends on whether there is such a particle and whether it is in such that or whether it is in that state this amounts to saying of course that a description as such undertakes to be correct or true truth in the sense of correctness thus truth in the sense of descriptive correctness is a special case of getting the entities themselves right heidegger uses the word truth for a more general phenomenon of which descriptive correctness is a special case for example using a hammer properly as a hammer is also true in this more general sense it discovers the hammer as an entity and gets it right he also says of such true comportments including but not limited to correct descriptions that they let entities be let them show themselves or set them free the idea is that entities first lie hidden or concealed either because they have not yet been noticed or because they have since been somehow disguised or even forgotten true comportments bring them out of this hiddenness out onto the open it is no coincidence that the terms discover and disclose both have connotations of unhiding revealing or bringing into the open so it's or or, or un or uncon yeah okay anyway now if there is to be a significant distinction between getting an entity right and failing to do so there must be some way some feasible and non-arbitrary way of telling it in particular cases so for instance for a descriptive comportment like a judgment or an assertion there must be some way of telling whether that description is true correct of the entity described not in every instance of course but as a rule comportments in themselves however do not wear their ontical truth on their sleeves therefore something else some further comportment or comportments must be involved in telling whether they are true or not so the question at this point resolves into these how can some comportments impugn the ontical truth of others and supposing they can how can the choice among them be non-arbitrary <clears throat>